Hey, look at the camera. Can you see it? Yeah. Well, today we'll talk about why the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is still going to be the best option through the end of 2023 at least for your foldable device. I have some thoughts on this. Stick around to find out. So this right here is one of the reasons that I love the Samsung Z Fold 4. Um, it is ultimately a great function for content creators. Say cheese. Cheese. Look at the camera and say cheese, silly. Cheese. There it is. So what I was saying, pro mode on uh, the selfie view, if you uh, want to call it that, or the, or the screen mirror view, where you can use the main cameras for not only the highest quality selfies you'll get out of probably any phone, um, but for some content for vlogging, for filming a video like this, um, whatever it might be. So I have full control over uh, my aperture, my uh, white balance, my manual. I can change my manual to manual focus and change that. <clears throat> I can go back to um, my ISO and adjust my ISO up and down. Uh, all while recording still and see exactly what it's doing to the picture. Uh, so it's a really nice feature to have for somebody who either has a YouTube channel or does a lot of face uh, time with TikTok, Instagram Reels, uh, Facebook Reels, whatever it might be. So it's one of the reasons I really, really like this on this device. So as mentioned before, we are gonna talk about just why nearing the end of 2023, the Z Fold 4 is still your best buy for a foldable device. So. For me personally, I, it is my daily driver. It is what I use every single day, taking pictures of my kids, taking pictures outside, taking pictures of products, taking videos of products. Uh, it is just my overall daily device, productivity, everything. So of course I can list off every spec sheet uh, from the spec list if you guys want me to, but most of you can just Google that and look it up anyhow. So I will throw them here on the side for you and you can just take a look at those, but ultimately, Here's the reality. You got a 50 megapixel main shooter. You've got 12 gigs of RAM. You have a very small candy bar like display on the outside that is going to be usable. You have big hands. It's going to be real cramped typing, right? But most of the time, if you're like me, you're using that phone open anyhow, using the big external display. So for me, this is why I find this to be the best device currently, even with the Z Fold 5 out, uh, the Pixel Fold out, and the coming uh, OnePlus uh, Open, uh, the N Find, um, the, uh, any other folding device that has currently come out, uh, ultimately. I, I just find this to be the best bang for your buck because now it's down in price, first of all, because the Z Fold 5 is out. And really the spec bumps that you got in the Z Fold 5 are minuscule. The biggest thing in my opinion was they made that cap disappear. I don't know if the camera will focus on this or not, but that gap is no longer there on the Z Fold 5. It's folding flat, which is really nice. You know, thins out, thins out the device. But listen, I've never minded. Now I'm a guy, I've got guy pockets, right? So I, I have deep pockets in my jeans. Never minded carrying this at all. One of the things I actually found, um, so this is the, the second time I've owned a Z Fold 4. The original one I sent back uh, <clears throat> ended up going back to it. And what I actually found was that the case that came with it, um, I really like um, that I got with it, which uh, is, is a Samsung case. It's real, it's real thin. This is your front screen case um, that snaps into place here. And this is the back of the case here um, that snaps on in place. And you can take the kickstand. You have a kickstand that opens up back here. Um, I, you know, when it's open, it's, I use that for being on the table, on the desk, whatever you may have you. Um, and over, you can just easily pop that out and replace it with the uh, S Pen, which I pretty much always carry in my pocket because I doodle with it. My boys, you know, they, they're three in one, they like to draw. Um, but you pop that back on there, 
um, and ultimately you, you have that functionality and it's not doesn't change the bulk of the phone that much um, it's raised up just enough on the lip um, if the camera will focus on it you can see it's actually saved my screen it's, it hits actually nicked right there um, in a couple different spots uh, from having this on and dropping the phone you know the flip is cool uh, the razor is cool but if you're buying something for a the form factor of folding um, I have a feeling you're probably more of a productivity buff than most, so you don't need a smaller screen, you need a bigger screen. Mix into the package Samsung DeX with this. Listen, I personally carry a portable monitor everywhere I go. It's a 15 inch monitor that folds up and I can plug a USB-C display cable into it. And now this becomes my trackpad uh, and keyboard if necessary, if I don't have a Bluetooth keyboard or whatever. Uh, and I have a portable computer with me um, and, and it's great. Uh, so for me, it's, it's truly, if you are about minimalist travel or you're going to a function for work, you're going on a family trip and you don't wanna pack a bunch of stuff, but you're like, mm, maybe I need to edit that video. Maybe I need to edit those pictures and I don't wanna do it on my small screen. Listen, portable monitor, monitor 180 bucks, maybe even cheaper on Amazon somewhere if you can find it, plus your phone, plus a USB-C cable you're in the money. You you have what you need to do that effectively. It's not gonna slow down. Um, it handles everything I throw at it very well. I run LumaFusion, I run um, the mobile version of Photoshop, I run Canva, I run pretty much any editor program I have tried on this device and they all work for the most part like you would expect them to. Um, and you know, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 on this is still fast. Um, so, for my productivity buffs. Obviously, like I said, best bang for your buck. Go out, find yourself a portable monitor. I am an Amazon affiliate. I will post some Amazon affiliate links in the listing below um, for the camera microphone that I'm using, for the phone, uh, the case, and the portable monitor that I personally use by Aspora. Um, really great products in my opinion. Uh, there have been a couple things I've noticed uh, as I've gone on and used this. Uh, internal camera tons of rendering when you take pictures on it, right? Um, I'll actually throw here a video up real quick of, of that being caught on camera. I recorded my screen while it happened, uh, took a picture of me and my son, and uh, snapped the photo, opened it up, and you can see what it took, and then all of a sudden, it's over sharpened and, and everything, and you can just see a ton of it, and it's an under display camera on the inside of the phone, what do you expect? Um, but one of the things that I love, that I've mentioned a bazillion times to a ton of people on YouTube, everywhere, for content creators, you want a great point and shoot that you can see yourself on and you forgot that camera at home or you haven't gone out and bought one yet, especially if you're new and you have this phone or you're planning on buying this phone, that functionality of being able to see yourself with the main cameras, get the highest quality video or selfies you're gonna get on a device right now is great. So if I turn this on and I turn it around and I show you what exactly it looks like, excuse the disaster on the porch right now, but it's fall. You can see everything going on right here and it gets even better because if you wanna control it from here, you can't, you don't just see it, you swipe here and now you have full control over everything that you can do on the regular camera right here. And you can just turn it around and hey, how are ya? And click and you're, got all functionality right there. It's a great option um, on these devices. It was one of the things that most excited me when the folding devices started becoming popular. I was like, man, that'd be a great feature and they did add it. Um, so that's really cool. Ultimately, like I said, right now it is October 17th, 2023. Z Fold 4, hands down in my opinion. YouTube is all about opinions finding, helping people find the best bang for their buck. And if you are gonna in the folding market, my option, my opinion, Z Fold 4. Do with that what you will, but ultimately keep your eyes open for some more videos coming. Uh, stay tuned, uh, shameful plug, River Tree Marketing Group LLC, uh, company we started, we are here to help you, whether it's being a brand established um, or trying to get established. You need help with logo design, you need help identifying your color scheme, you need help building your brand from the ground up or you're already established and you just need some content, you just need some website design, you just need whatever it might be um, in the marketing space. 
reach out to me, uh, comment below. I can help you do that. My team can help you do that. Uh, and we look forward to working with you. And I look forward to the next video. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Click like, comment, subscribe. Looking forward to it. Thanks again.